Miss Kulkarni here. In this video, let's continue with some more problems with Darton's law of partial pressure. Now, we are going to discuss here the water vapor pressure. Okay, what what happens when we collect the gas over water, as it's shown in this picture over here? The pressure of the gas which we get is not purely the pressure of the gas but in fact it is the pressure of the gas and the pressure of the water water vapor pressure both together give rise to the total pressure so we need to make sure that we do that correction when we solve the problems let's look at our very first problem and let's list down our values so we have volume here given Remember, it's collected over water and that's the pressure and that's the temperature. So, if you want to list your P1, V1 and T1, what are those values? It's 850 torr. Then we have volume 50.0 milliliters and temperature is 27 Celsius, which will be plus 273 so it will be 300 Kelvin what's the other set of conditions it is STP do you remember that STP it is standard temperature and pressure now pressure is equal to one atmosphere or if you remember the value in torr is 760 torr volume is something we need to find out and then we need to find out the temperature uh, for the STP gas which is 0 degrees Celsius plus 273 so there we go we got 273 Kelvin now this problem would have been extremely simple using combined gas law and figure out what the value is but keep in mind the pressure which we got here P1 is over water so this is actually not the pure pressure of the gas. That pressure is pressure of the gas and pressure of water vapor. So what we do is we look at the temperature value, we find out the water vapor pressure and we do the correction. So the pressure of the gas 850 which we get is in fact the pressure of real gas plus the water vapor pressure P for H2O and if you plug the value for the water vapor pressure at 27 degrees that is 26.7 so when we solve what we get we get P for the dry gas as 850 minus 26.7 which is actually 823.3 Okay, what do we do next? Now we are going to use, instead of this pressure, we are going to use the pressure of the dry gas and we simply use the combined gas law P1, V1, T1 is P2V2 over T2. Remember, this pressure is going to be now the pressure which we got for the dry gas. So that is 823.3 times the volume which is 50 divided by the temperature which is 300 and over here this is P2 760 we need to find out V2 and then temperature is 273 so when we actually solve plug and check and solve we end up getting value for uh, V2 I'm sorry V2 as 49.3 milliliters okay here is one more problem and in this problem we are collecting oxygen gas over water let's list all the values which are given it's P1, V1 and T1 what's the P1? it is 1.24 atmosphere what is the volume V1? It is 125 milliliters and temperature T1 is 75 degrees Celsius or 
when we add 273, what do we get? We get Kelvin, which is 348 Kelvin. Let's get the second set. V2, V2 and T2. The temperature at STP, which is standard temperature and pressure, will be 0 degrees Celsius or when we add 273, that becomes 273 Kelvin. Volume, we have to find out. What about pressure? Pressure for STP is 1 atmosphere and we could have easily used 1 atmosphere. But keep in mind, we are collecting the gas over water. That means we need to make some corrections with water vapor. So, this pressure we are going to use Tor value which is 760 Tor. And now, when we use the gas laws, we have to make sure the other pressure also is in same unit. So let's go and convert that pressure 1.24 atmosphere to torr. So that gets atmosphere here. And how do we fill that in? It's always 1 atmosphere equals 760 torr. So when we cancel that, we multiply these two values and we end up getting the value as 942.4 torr. Now remember, this is the pressure P1 for wet gas. It is the gas collected over water. That means we need to find out the pressure for the dry gas. And P for wet gas will be equal to P for dry gas plus pressure for water. So, in a way, we can say 942.4 is equal to pressure for the dry gas and the water vapor pressure at 75 degrees is equal to, we get the value for that as 289.1. So, when we solve for the pressure for the dry, what do we get? get that as 652.9 to tor. Okay, now keep in mind, this is the new value which we are getting. So, we are going to use that value with this set of our readings because this was for the wet and we had to consider the gas as a dry gas. So, what do we get? We are going to use simply the combined gas law P1, V1 over T1 equals P2, V2 over T2. Pressure is the new value which is 652.9. Volume V1 is 125 divided by the temperature value is 348. When we come over here, we are going to use now all these values for the standard STP conditions. So, the pressure is 760, volume V2 is unknown and the temperature is 273. So, our job is to now solve for V2 and that V2 value when we solve, what do we get? We end up getting V2 equals 84.2, so many milliliters. So, look at this. So, look at this. We could solve the problems with Dalton's gas law. What is the key thing to remember? Always make sure you subtract the water vapor pressure if the gas is collected over water. And that's it. And then it is simply combined gas law or any other gas law which we need to use. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in next video. Until then,